down. So I always love the roll down. We need to constantly be working to warm up the back before we do anything. So on these, I'm gonna start with my hands on, you kind of have to get a sense. You wanna keep the knees as much as possible in alignment with the hips, even if the feet go out a little bit, that's fine. Where you're going to be noticing is how close to bring the knees to your back. You don't want them too close because then you'll be too gripping in the hip module, in the um, hip flexors. So bring them out to a place where right here, let's go ahead, inhale, we're gonna just curl over a little bit. We're gonna start in a clamshell. Good, so I want you to inhale down into the belly, expand it. And then on the exhale, you're gonna feel like from that lowest vertebrae, you're curling the sacrum under, you're not just dropping, you're curling. You might need to keep bringing the feet in a little bit closer to get to that place. You're exhaling, drawing the belly in and up. Now your arms are almost straight, keep a slight bend and see if you can bring the elbows out to the side a little bit, just to get a good stretch there. And then as you come up, I want you to keep that rounded position. Don't straighten quite yet. You can draw your arms down lower on the legs to do that. Bring it all in. One more time, inhale. On the exhale. And again, you're not going straight back. It's a roll for that lower back. Good work. Now, I'm going to bend my elbows out to the side, and I'm going to bring my upper body in a little bit more from right under the rib cage. Good. So you really get a different stretch there. And then inhale on the way back up. Good. Now we're going to do a little bit more of a lengthening or strengthening of the back. So now I want you to sit up a little bit more. Good, you're going to inhale back, but you're not going back far. So inhale into the belly just a little bit, sliding under still. Good, now use the hands, think roll up on the sacrum, draw the belly in and stack the vertebrae. You're pulling into the shins and up to feel a tall back. Make sure that the chin is tucked back and you're lifting from the top back but you're really holding yourself up with the legs. Good, let's just do it one more time like that. Inhale, roll on back just a little bit. Good, notice as you inhale, you're also gonna feel that across the rib cage from the, from the lungs. Exhale, use your hands, sacrum down, stacking the vertebrae all the way up. You're pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. And just notice here, you're pushing into the leg, pulling up to get tall. Slowly see if you can keep those ribs up and tall, vertebrae stacked, and release the legs. And what you're going to feel is that your hip flexors pick up, which are these muscles right here. So hip flexors there. Now use the hands again. Push in, pull up, and feel the release of the flexors as you kind of use the hands to roll up. Very good. Now we're going to go ahead and roll all the way down. So what I want you to do from here is release that back a bit, curl forward. Good. Bring the arms right up from your shoulders. Do an inhale first. Now think shoulders reach forward, not the hands, but from the shoulders as you slide the sacrum under, you're going to start to roll down. Only go to where you can control it. You can put your hands underneath your hamstrings. That will probably be better. If you're not strong in the core, do that and let the feet come up with you. Feet come up with you. And then you can kind of press the feet in the ground away from the body a little bit. Now you're flat on your back and you've come down in a really nice, safe way. And here we are. Hello, hello. Okay, so now we're going to begin with organs in place. So I want you now to bring your feet in a little bit closer to your tail. Keep the knees the whole time in alignment with the hips. Now, I want you to lift your heels. Yes, yes, you're going to be on your ball joints. I want you to inhale into your belly. You can go ahead and roll that sacrum down. Good, you'll see that the rib cage flares out. Now exhale, rib cage will knit together, draw the ribs down towards your thighs as you start to curl your tail up. So you're just curling up, curling one vertebrae at a time, but you're not going past mid thoracic. 
right here, check that the knees are in, your heels are lifted, and you're thinking really curl under. So now you have a really nice slope here on your lower belly. Already with gravity, keep the tuck, keep the knees in. The intestines and all the female parts are already with gravity coming up underneath the rib cage. We're gonna help it with organs and place fingers in front of that left hip bone. Vertical fingers press down into that cavity and really wiggle everything towards the center. Then with the side, pinky side of that hand, scoop it up. So your hands are holding yourself there. Now one more time, tuck under. You're gonna feel this in your quads too, by the way. And I want you to just think, tighten your muscles in. So pull your belly button towards the floor and then just release it. Don't push it out, just release. Pull it in, feel the muscles underneath your hand and release one more time. Your thighs are gonna cry, I'm telling you, and it release, it's not nice. All right, the other side, I'll hustle now. Now that you know, push in, scooch to the center, roll it on up, hands. Now think shoulders down. You can even pull your elbows in the ground a little bit. Pull it in, release, pull it in, release. Now, down by the bladder, fingertips, really wiggle. So you have that really nice scooped curve there. Pull it on up. Vertical fingers, you can stretch your thumbs and pinkies if you can. Tighten, release, tighten, release, tighten. Hold it all in there. Keep the knees in alignment. Do a little tuck and roll down. Curl up and down. Keep those heels up and roll down. Roll it up, roll it down. So you're not already going to sacrum. It's just kind of like the bottom vertebrae. Curl it up, pull the belly in. Curl down the vertebrae. Curl it up from the top vertebrae, curl down one more time. Curl it up, pull the belly in, and curl it down. If you had enough, I bet you have. Bring the knees in. Woo! So lifting those heels, give yourself some ankle rolls. We're gonna do regular rocks here for a second. What does that mean? That means regular rock is knee, ankle, tailbone. Pull it in, so don't let the knees open right now. And then press the legs against the hand. Don't lift your head. So you're just, it's just a really nice release. Up and press. You can stretch your thumbs. In and press. For a lot of us, this is tough to keep it in alignment, right? Because the knees want to open and the feet want to come to the center. But for right now, keep it right in alignment. Good. All right, now we're going to do half frogs. So now you can put your hands on those kneecaps, pull it in just like we just did. But now, Allow the knees to open towards about middle outside of armpit. The knees will come in, feel the difference, and release on out until the arms are straight. Let's just do it one more time. You may need to adjust where your hand is on that leg. Everybody's different. Think shoulders down, pull the knees in, really pull them in and release back out. Good, now see how far you can pull them in Keep the shoulders down without lifting tailbone. I'm gonna to need to bring my hands down lower on my shins. Feel that stretch. All right, very good. Now, taking the knees and bringing them out so that they are in alignment with your hips. Then lift the feet so that your knee and ankle are in a straight line. So now you have these nice angles. Knee here. If you bring those knees in too close to the tail, you're going to lose the activation. So you want to be right there. I'm going to actually now think I'm going to open my knees a little bit wider and I'm going to think critter crunch foot. Just see if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Bring your hands, bear claw strong, thumbs all the way out to the side. Feel what happens in your shoulders. The shoulders are open. Then drop to wherever you can, right here. Press your shoulders down, upper body, lower back with the belly button in. We're going to use the breath. So you're going to inhale into your lower belly. You'll get a little bit of lift at the lower back. Now exhale, flatten, press knees and feet together. Press the shoulders down. You're going to inhale into the belly as you open back to where you were. Good. You're going to exhale, use the lower belly to lift. Lift up, lift the sh shoulders. See if you can get your knees to your pinkies and then bring it right back out. Inhale. I'm going to go one more time slow. Exhale, press the knees and feet and lower back. Inhale as you open. 
Exhale, press tailbone lifts, knees to pinky, shoulders down. Back out. I'm gonna go faster. See if you can use the breath. So inhale before we move. Exhale. And back out, inhale. Exhale, press. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift. And back, two more times. Press and open. And back. Exhale, inhale. Exhale and back. Now you're right here, right here, hold. Just straighten those legs and allow the weight of the leg to just open out. So keep the back flat here if you can. The weight of the leg is gonna really stretch your inner thigh. Let's do a little bit of footwork. Notice the difference. So I'm going to say, instead of flex my feet, I'm gonna feel like I'm pressing out through my heels. Oh yeah, you can even now think ball joint, so the toes are back. How about if you curl the toes? Flex the toes, good work. Now, point the whole foot and think, roll the knees out to the outside. Feel the difference in all those stretches. Okay, you probably had enough of that. So now, bend the lower leg, keeping the pinky. Drop so the pinky touches the ground. Bring the feet out just a little bit more in front of you. And then think, relax. Lower back relaxes. You'll probably get a bit of an airspace. The knees are open. And for most of us, that's going to feel pretty gnarly. Just notice where you're feeling it. Just opening now is going to allow the lymph to flow. But we're going to do a pendiculation now to open in this hip. So I want you to slowly bring the knees up to the sky. Feet will be flat. And slowly, the weight of the leg will be your pandiculation. So slowly begin to open those knees back out to the floor. Yes, the whole inside, you're going to be on the outside of your foot once you get there. You can even lift the heels a little if you want and then just relax. And just notice, you probably don't feel quite as tight in those same places. Now, I want you to straighten your legs down about an inch one to two inches. Straighten them back down, but keep those knees out to the side and notice how that feels. All these different angles are going to show you different places where you're holding contraction in there. So I can feel that there. I'm gonna pendiculate again. I'm gonna bring the knees back up. Good, and now I'm gonna slowly. And these are best done with your eyes closed. Really putting your focus in, in this groin area, seeing if there's a lot of chatter, or if it goes down like in chunks, just know that's called sensory motor amnesia. And these pandiculations will help bring your brain back online there and release it. Once you're down to wherever the body wants to go, don't push it. Just let it go where it wants to go. And then just think, relax. And just notice how much better I'm going to go down one more time. Same thing, you'll notice it each time. Some feel fine, others are like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna pendiculate one more time, bringing my knees up and slowly allowing them to go down. And once you get to wherever it wants to go, relax. So beautiful. And then just straighten on down. Isn't that nice? And just notice what you feel before we get out of here. Just notice if one side feels a little better, if you feel a little bit more open up here in the hip and the groin, that is a beautiful thing. I want you to bend one leg, push yourself up and over to the side and bring yourself up into a final seated position, whether you cross your leg or put one on top of the other. Let's put the hands right underneath. I want you to inhale first. And then on the exhale, think about curling the sacrum under, draw your belly in, allow the knees to come up. So you're gonna do essentially an arch and flatten or a curl and scoop, tuck it under. Now use the hands on the leg. You're going to pull yourself up so you're rolling forward on the pelvis. Now as you come forward is where you're gonna do your inhale, but I want you to feel like you're pushing against the leg to pull the shoulders back, leading with the chest. Don't go too far, inhale. 
Don't lift your chin too much, okay? Keep your head right in alignment. There's your inhale. You can even bend the elbows more and pull them in towards the body. Notice how there you're going to feel it more in the lats. Notice how much you feel the difference in the front leg in the hip there. And then curl on back. Drawing the belly in. Good. Allow yourself to be held there. One more time using the hand to roll back up with an inhale. Lift, lead with the chest and exhale. And bring it back to neutral. We're just going to do it one more time. Switch the leg that's in front. If for some reason that hurts your knee, go back. Let's inhale first, neutral spine. And exhale. So on the exhale, you're exhaling from that belly, drawing the belly in as you exhale. Chin will tuck. You're holding your weight there. You can lift the knees. Use your hands against the knee to roll back up. Inhale. Oh, it should feel good. Elbows in so you can really feel that in the lats. Exhale, curl it back. And come back to neutral spine. And I hope you enjoyed that.